Okay. Uh, anyone can hear me? Hopefully, I. I Oops. Let me make some room. All right. Uh, what was that? Oh. Okay, I have my uh, wide-angle lens on because everybody knows how much um how wide <laughs> iOS um cameras are. So if I put a wide-angle lens, I have fisheye macro or macro. Macro won't do that well. Fisheye is too um fisheye. I mean. And um yeah, I'm gonna be talking a little louder as well. Anyway, this is a review of the Doji Can you tell? BL twelve thousand Pro. Um I probably should have um Um let me get the box real quick. Okay. Oops. Okay, I have the box now. Uh, let me move this out. And this is the box that came in. BL twelve thousand Pro. That did not just happen. Um, uh, I had to take out the case, which is a stand, at the same time. I need something that could hold this iPad, because a regular. As you know, a normal tripod, phone tripod won't hold it, it's too big. Hold it, show you. Yeah, that's a normal phone tripod. As you can tell. And I just randomly did that, so you can see. So far nobody's watching, and um... Hopefully that stands. Okay. Yeah, just let me know if you could hear me. I always seem to talk a little quiet. Um, let me adjust my life as well. Make it brighter. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, this is a phone I saw on If You Know Who Mr. Who's the Boss is, popular YouTuber. And I saw this phone, and I was like, ooh, look at that blue. And it's in certain, um, if you can see, certain lighting, an angled actually. Yeah, certain angles. It looks purple. I need to cut my nails, don't I? It actually just kind of my thing. Well, this. This one's long. These ones don't seem to be long. Odd. See? Yeah, so you have multiple different colors, which I think is really neat. And the way it sh it, uh, the shape of it is neat as well. So, you have this more of a matte type kind of blue. This one seems to be fading. You see? It's more glossy blue. And then you have this more of a mild kind of a a metallic yeah it is a, I think it's metal maybe plastic but uh, metal blue which nice is uh, one thing that annoys me is having the power button and the volume button the same side I prefer power button and volume button and power button on this side volume button on this side and maybe because this phone is so big put them a little lower but just the detail on it see how to screw on this and it has that's a very little just all the detail on this phone makes it unique and it has uh, two cameras. Yes, so, yeah, I tried them, and they actually work. Uh, and it has two cameras on the back. Um, yeah, that one's a normal one. This one is more of a depth sensor, I guess. I don't really know. Cameras are not that great on this phone. I'll show you. This is the uh, default camera it came with. It came pre-installed. Video, panorama. Yeah, it's kind of just normal. Normal photo, beauty, bokeh. So, 
Uh, what can I use? So we're taking a picture from this. See how it blurs the background? But don't blur the background using the main secondary lens camera. But it is showing that it's used with a sensor for some what, which doesn't make sense. It has a mono chrome, but see everything is all used with the main top camera. And then you have a night vision mode, hmm. which also uses top camera. I mean, it's, you're really not going to take pictures with this, because it's... Well, the reason why I bought this for people who really know me. <laughs> and it has a one-time zoom. It's 1.5. But... Coming up the bottom camera again. As you can see, it doesn't use. It uses a um, digital zoom, not optical. Which I should clean the lens. Up to my cleaning cloth. Yeah, and this phone, which is nice compared to most, no, 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 no one wants to see me. <laughs> I mean, well, I don't want to see me. Okay, how do I? Yeah, but oh yeah, we're gonna show you the front camera, Rise and I. Fingerprint scan is a little iffy as well. So the front camera actually works. Okay. See, hi me. <laughs> um. So the front camera is this one, and then you have an ultra wide angle. See, and actually this one actually works. I've tried this. So I take a normal selfie. And if you have a lot of friends, or just want to take a picture of the background, use the ultra wide angle. Which the only one that really has ultra wide angle is LG. They're the one that made it popular. And it's nice to see that this actually has three and a half cameras and the reason why I say three and a half not four is because I showed you that this is more of a depth sensor. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. They say it's for two times zoom but you saw it's 1.5 and you see this one as an optical zoom sensor or a digital zoom. But as I said before, the reason why I bought this for all the games. I don't want to play all this much games but yeah. And um... Hey, look, like someone's watching. Hi, everyone's watching. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, would be the storage. It has an internal of 120 gigabytes. And I put my SD card to 128, which says 117, which I don't know why they take storage of an SD card for. And it's primarily up to 245 gigabytes. And the battery lasts a long time. I have 7 hours of on screen time, 47% a day 20 hours ago. Yeah. I have uh, my nephew, his account on this. You can tell he used uh, four hours of on screen time. Wi Fi has been on the whole day. But you can see how long it'll last. Battery, approximately at one day, 11 hours left. So, about three days of battery life on this with medium to heavy usage. So, you pu you'll get around about 15 hours. Of heavy usage on this on screen time it will last you definitely a whole week of a uh, light usage i know i've done it before let me go to my photos and let's see gallery uh, found it uh, screenshots okay so time on 17 hours that's on screen time 17 hours and those are three percent and uh, as you can tell, three days since it has been charged. And then from 3%, it has over an hour and 56 minutes left. That's a lot. So, but this one is probably the most. 20 hours, 17 minutes, 20 seconds of on screen time. And six hours left for 3%. That's with battery same mode. And this. 3% 9 days ago, 
So yeah, it would last a week if you like usage. Nine hours on screen time um, last nine days. So that's the reason why I bought it. And um, I've tried all kinds of games. Because, <laughs> ah, oh, if you, is this doing what I think it's doing? Being annoying on me? Okay. Um, yeah, and it has uh, six gigabytes of RAM. Technically, 2.9 and 2.8 is a um, calculator. Hold up. So, 2.9 plus 2.8, that's only 5.7. So, it only has really 5.7 gigabytes of RAM, which it should have 6. But I'm guessing the 6 gigabytes are on the total, and the 5.7 is a usage because the rest is used on the default applications and their um, OS software. But yeah, I mean, it's a really nice phone. See, I wish all phones do th does this. How is blue in the back? See, it's also blue on the front. Most of them have white fronts or black fronts. And I prefer the color of the phones because you can see a 360 as you just have a look on the back, especially have the case on it. This one came with this case. Oops. This case, it's really not a case. It's more of a, a cover skin because you could tell it don't protect the front at all. It does protect the back a little, but definitely not against drops. Keep this protected, and this protected. And sadly, this is micro USB. These are not double speakers. This one's, I think this is a speaker, and this is a microphone, and that's not a speaker. Also, um, yeah, fingerprint scanner, three, Two, one. It's not that fast, but it's not really too slow. Yeah, but it's a, it's a nice phone. A uh, bad thing, probably one of the major downsides of this, is uh, it has um, LTE, as you could tell, in hand for your LTE mode. But with my SIM card I tried in this, it was only it was only giving me edge. Not sure if it's because of some because of the area I'm in and use a different cell cell tower. So I will show you but the phone I have inside as you saw in my video last time or yesterday I think. Yeah. <laughs> I put on a case with my iPhone 8 and the case is kinda tough to get off and I don't want to be unscrewing it. <laughs> So, but yeah, I did try it, and um, it's bad uh, on screen time. It's still for playing heavy games, 1890 1980 battery image. Excuse me, but this one has actually has a 12,000 milliamp by the oh yeah i'm going to show inside anyways inside the box the phone went on this which is just how it looked and then you have this and you have this thing tells you just the normal stuff and it actually came with two extra screen protectors one for the front and one for the back and it came with this this is a, I think a European charger, fast charge, 3.0, uh, 5 volts, 7 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts at 3 amps. So I mean it's pretty fast. For this, with this charger, from 0 to 100%, they said it'll take about an hour. No, 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 4 hours. <laughs> no, that would be way too crazy. And it came with this simple black like USB I haven't used, as you can tell. And then this, because of the battery. It has um, OTG on the go, so I plug this in and plug whatever charger you use it out as a power bank. And I've never used it, I'm going to have to try on my uh, iPhone 8, because that's what they show on the trailer um, when they're charging. I think they show iPhone 10s, and it comes with the same injector tool. Mm. 
But, you know, it's... If you want the best, you're going to have to pay a little extra. You know, if you want something that... I guess I'll go down to personal preference. But with me, I try to get every film. Well, at least from my carrier. So, what happened to the papers? Oh, huh. He tries to sneak away. And, uh, so, pe- people who ask me, hey, what phone's the best? Well, whatever you want. Because, really, it's not about which phone is best, whatever's best for you. And I'm not a certain person, Samsung fan, Apple fan, LG, or Google fan. As you know, I've had all kinds of different phones over the years. Um, Samsung being my first, then Apple, then LG, um, and then Motorola, and then OnePlus, and then Doogee. And ZT, yeah. Those are all the phone brands I've actually tested out. And my favorite, well, I enjoy Apple 3D Touch. Um, they're just the way they optimize their stuff. Um, Samsung's the fast Wiley charger, or charging. Um, some of their features, the displays are the best on the market, the AMOLED. Um, Allergy's ultra wide angle camera. OnePlus's uh, speed performance. Doji, well, the u- u- uniqueness. Motorola for the camera because they had the monochrome and you could basically put, um, I don't have any photos to show you, but you blur out the background and or you could make it all black and white and it had the foreground in uh, color, which usually most of the phones have a uh, two times zoom. So that's what's nice about it. And monomods. <laughs> yeah, so I've tried a lot of phones over the years and pretty much, you know, just enjoy part of them. Hopefully if you could hear me. Uh, comments. Uh, chat. I should always turn that on before. Nemo flash, new microphone, no. Uh, don't want messages, um, but anyways. Well, if you want to see a different video, let me know. And, uh, I'll show you, and yeah, it has this two finger change wallpaper, but this isn't available in America. I don't know why. Two finger sh- uh, screenshot, gesture motion, launch music, and radio video. In gallery, wave your hand to the top of the screen, skip to the next picture. Huh. Okay, I didn't know that. Maybe I should try that now. Gallery screenshots. I'm in the fingerprint scanner. It only works one way. You can only touch it. You can't swipe it. Which is a little annoying. Oh yeah. Anyways, uh, I guess I better go. It's already um almost twenty minutes, and um have to upload this. So hopefully you enjoyed it. No, it's not much, but you know, trying to do more videos. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down, and comment down below what you think, and what you want to see in the next video, and I'll see what I can do. I'll probably do more of these live streams. Um, probably be a little easier than um, recording a video, editing it, making sure the volume is right. Um, well, because you know I could turn up the volume with this one. I'm not sure exactly. And I'm using this microphone that came with this. Yeah, it came with this flash. You control the brightness. Three level brightness. It goes in the headphone jack, which some of the new phones don't have. Me have a headphone jack. 
this is um kind of for we take a selfie you pair it you turn it on you pair it and then when you use a picture of whatever you really need it for you press that button and take a photo these are all the lenses i have wide angle lens on this one uh oh Uh oh, that's not. Did I want to see a lens drop? Cause um, this one that's missing the lens. Okay, then I'll show you. Oh great, I have that lens on. You see, look, the lens is gone. So you can see this lens is on the front. See, it has two lenses on it. One on the back and one on the front. This one has one on the back, but don't have the one on the front. I probably lost it a long time ago. Mm, well, I'm going to have to find it. Yeah, that's where it came. I bought this back in the... Uh, 2017, last year, I think. Oh. Mm, macro lens, that one goes in the middle. And then push like on this end, and then uh, wide angle goes on this end. This one goes on this, and this one goes on that. Okay. Well, yeah, um, I'm gonna go now. Well, anyways, hopefully, you enjoyed this video, and hopefully, see you in the next one. Okay, bye! I